Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, okay? Everything is out. Yo, so I had a um I had a moment in time with myself. Fucking It's so weird how um it's really hard to stay firm in your emotions or your feelings. Like I know when you fully like fully committed to something or believe in something then maybe, you know, that's it. It's in your mind a brainwave. But I guess because of my personality, like, because I care so much, because my heart's so big, or I don't know what it is, or I, I don't know what it is. I'm still trying to figure this shit out. Stop your shit. I'm still trying to figure this shit out. I, I noticed that within myself that I'm not fully there yet as far as knowing who I am because of my parents, because of my, my, my mom and my stepdad specifically, even my real dad. But me being so much involved with my mom and my stepdad due to the fact that my sister passed away, you know, ever since she passed away, I feel like um, if there's one way to honor her is to make sure that I take care of the things that we both love together. And that's our parents. You know, my stepfather, for whatever man he was, he's been in my life since I've been four years old. And that comes with a lot of ups, downs, in and outs, and a lot of backwardness. But... I get I love yous from him more than I get from my real father. And that takes nothing away from my real father. But you learn a person through their pain. And as I get older and I got more of my real father, I understand why he is the way he is. The same way I can understand why my stepfather the way is the way he is. And my mom being my best friend, you know, and I say that here. I can say that because she... Honestly, I could tell her anything. My mom has backed me up with so many situations. I never, I, I, I'm not one to pull her in. But when I do pull her in, it's because honestly, I'm out of fucking options. I'm out of options. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. Who's one person that I think that I always have a solution to be my parents? All three of them. No matter who they, and, and I know my uncles, my uncles like my, my father too, don't get me wrong. But when I say my parents specifically, it's I guess because I know that they all had, they all had a, a really, ten, they had 10 fingers and two hands on raising me. They had 10 fingers and two hands on, on how I was molded. Whether it be feeding me every day, whether it be being around for me when I, when I'm, when I, you know, knowing because I was their child and they had to take care of me regardless, what the fuck are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Just not be a parent. They stepped up to the plate to be parents. All of them. All of them. All of my parents. Specific two that really always hit me in the left kidney. Um, my stepdad and my mom, man. Like. I went through an issue with my, you know, all my life I've gone through issues with my stepfather. I've always. I, always, I I had this backwardness about me that I thought that your parents were supposed to be your heroes. And I say it all the time on like my Everything is Okay podcast. I say whenever I talk about parents, I, I bring this up all the time because it's something that I've really learned. And it helps me as a parent. It helps me to understand this. Like parents aren't heroes, man. And, and, if, and if you know the true definition of a hero... Hero is not somebody that does all good. A true definition of it is a hero, a hero that does things that when they know it's when it's the greater good. Parents aren't all heroes though. Parents are still growing and developing as human beings and people too. Parents make mistakes. Parents do things that when we question them about it later as adults and say, mom and dad, why'd you do this? They shake their head or they don't want to talk about it. I remember watching Love and Hip Hop. And I forget the guy's name, but the guy got out of jail and he finally, you know, he finally got to talk with his pops and he brings up this shit to his pops and his pops is just like, okay, my heart can't take it. You know, like I, I've gone through that too with my stepfather. Whenever the, the, whenever the heat gets too hot in the kitchen, my stepfather, he does the same thing. You know, he goes ahead and I, I, I can't take it. My mom, my mom's extra sensitive. Why, why would I, 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 I won't lie. I've been such a villain 
I've been such a villain at times to my mother. I say such mean and cruel and foul things to her sometimes. At times. I did. I did. I'll admit it. I'm not going to take it away. You know what I mean? Like, this is the, it's true transparency. Stop your shit. This is what... This is this happens. This is how people grow. People grow by expressing themselves and knowing that they did something wrong, so they want to do it better. You know, parents aren't heroes. The fact they're willing to talk about it or speak about it doesn't give me the right to beat them up over it. I just want some understanding. You know, I make music, and I was so grateful that my father heard a song of mine, and my father goes, yo, you got this story wrong. Let me tell you the real story. Whether or not I believe his story or not is irrelevant. The fact he took the time out to be a parent, the, the fact he took the time out to try to make something clear to me so I can have some understanding because he knew that I was lost in this understanding. I didn't have an under, I, I didn't get it. The fact he takes time to do that is something that shows what being a parent is. That's what mom and dad is. That's what these two people are. That's what those figures are. And when I say mom and dad, I apologize for people that didn't have their mom and dad and got raised by a brother, sister, your grandmother, orphanage, whatever it may be, yo. But parenting in general, they say it takes a, a village to raise a child. You got to be grateful to, for the people that gave you some type of parenting. And if you didn't get no type of parenting, yo, don't fucking beat yourself up over it. If you have the opportunity to be a parent in any way, shape, or form, whether they're your kids or not, whether you're aunt to uncle, whether you're allowed to help a kid or not, just be a teacher, become something. You can still, if you truly want to like care about the younger youth of life, give back to them, even if it wasn't given to you. That's what my parents have given me. Understanding that they're not heroes, understanding they make their mistakes. Hey, you think my mom wanted to be in a relationship where she was getting her ass whooped and I witnessed it? You know, you think you think my stepfather wanted to be a, a, a degenerate gambler and lose my fucking my house? You think my real father didn't want to just be a hundred percent full time parent? You see all these questions? Those are all the mistakes that they made. They made. They're not superheroes, but at the same time, the fact that I know their mistakes is because I was able to live through it and witness it, and it was the teachings and my learnings. So in reality. What they did become was more than heroes to me. My parents are more than heroes. My parents are far beyond what a hero is. My parents, my parents are willing to make, my parents made more sacrifices in order for me to become this great a person that I'm becoming. More sacrifices than I can ever know. You know, and, 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 and again, I don't want to speak out of term when it comes to people that didn't have their parents. Or for that person, I got a crackhead mom, a crackhead dad, or a drug dealer mom, drug dealer dad, or your dad's in jail, your mom's in jail. Or, yo, yo, it sucks. That, 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 that's the part of life that is extra rough and it sucks. But I'll say it and I'll say it again and I think I need to make a stop your shit, yin and a yang shirt. Because everybody needs to understand, just because you got all that bad, don't mean that you don't have the opportunity to be any good. You have the absolute opportunity to be all the good in the fucking world. You have that opportunity to do that because you've been shown so much bad. You don't have to be the product of your environment. You do have a choice to make. It's just throughout history and psychologically people become the things that they hate. And that's the fucking problem. We need to stop these revolving doors and these stereotypes. Understand that, you know, our parents, maybe they didn't make the decision to be parents and the decision was made for them. So whatever way they could, whether they were swinging zero and 10 or they were swinging nine for 10, they still stepped up to the plate. Like if you're living and you're alive and you're kicking, yo, that means two people had you. And whether they did their job 125% or not, you're, you're alive to make decisions for yourself and question yourself why you feel these way, this way. Question yourself on why do you feel absent-minded? Why, why do you miss something? Why do you question yourself? Why do I do these things? Why am I like that? You think I don't question myself anytime I've cheated on a woman or done some womanizing shit? I'm like, oh shit, that must be right. Yeah, of course I question. They don't question why I can't get closer to my father and then I have to learn that his detachment from his father you know why I could, when I question my stepfather to see his how selfish he is, but how sorry he is for being selfish. You know that's something else that I I just keep getting taught left and right. It's okay to be apologetic for the man you are, but if you're truly the person you are, if you're truly apologetic though, and you truly care about making a change, you will. 
That's what I am. I am that. I am in which my what my parents could not be or cannot be at this moment. Vicariously, they live through me without having any controlling features over me because that's the argument that I have with them myself. And I attend to it, I attend to it, I attend to it, I attend to it. I give it attention in order for me to fi figure out a solution for myself. My mom is my crown gem. And I always wonder why she isn't a crown gem to another man. I don't take away nothing from my stepfather, but I know queens, I know queens, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see really bad women that get privileged. And when I say bad, I don't only mean attractive. I mean what they do and how they carry themselves, their attitudes and their demeanor and their, 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 their the way they look at life. You know, I, it's not good, but these women get crowned with jewels and jewelry and cars and lavish and love and then feel miserable when they're giving something like a family. My mom, the only thing that she loves more than life is family. That's the main thing that my mom loves more than anything, more than any parent that I've ever had in my life. I think my mom is the one parent that will show me that family is more important to her than anything in the world. And family is not one individual. Family is all of us. All of us are equally important. No matter if I have ever felt like I was put back seat, I've always, I've, I, the only reason I was put back seat is because she knows I can drive the car. Her knowing I can drive the car, of course she's going to put me back seat because I'll drive the car when I'm ready, when I know I can. Go ahead. That's why all my parents around me give me all this praise and suprosity and all this muscle now. You guys make me so much stronger because you built me up this way and you know you did. You did it on purpose. You did it on purpose. I remind you guys, time in and time out. I had a great conversation with my stepfather uh, the weekend after Father's Day, last weekend. Uh, Father's Day was a little up and down to tat, but weekend after, I had to play Call of Duty and look at the screen because the conversation had me crying. Because anytime I get deep and intimate with him and to know to know that he 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 steps right in his shit. He knows how he is, he is the way he is, but he's man enough to say, yo, I that that's the most important thing to me in the world, your mom. She's the reason I live. And I had to tell him her living for you gives me reason to live. And his rebuttal is, so that means I have to live for you too then. I have no problem. See, these, these conversations only come up with your parents when you have them. It may not always sway the way you want it. But if you try, man, if you try, you keep loving your heart. And you keep the reality of how you feel about everything you feel. And not let the, the alternatives of those feelings or those people come over you and conquer you. And you always feel that way. Whether it be now, later, in the future, it, it, it'll, it'll figure itself out. It'll figure itself out. The worst thing you can do is let go of somebody and have no peace. I'd be damned if anybody around me ever passes away and I got no peace with them ever again. Because I've lost too many people that I'm not, I wasn't allowed to have any peace with. So I'm in this situation now where I got to seek it. I won't miss an opportunity again. I will tell my parents every day I love them. And whether those are your parents biologically or those are the people that raised you, stop your shit, throw a text message, throw a phone call, tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. Ask them if they need something. I don't give a fuck if they're in California and you know you can't reach them. Ask them if you need something. You never know if you could UPS them. Ask them if they need something, man. Let, let's start taking care of the people that took care of us and got us to this dance. Gave us the ability to make these decisions. Because you have the choice to make your own decisions. You don't make, you, you, you make decisions based upon, but at the end of the day, the choices that you do and the choices that you live with are yourself. And that power given to you wasn't given to you by no fucking God. At the root of it all, it was given to mom, from you, from mom and dad. You slid out of a vagina with sperm from a dick. Stop your shit. Yo, it's your boy, okay? Everything is all skrrr. Love you, mom and dad. Don't make, don't make me find you.
Don't make me find you, bro. I'll find you if you don't love your mom and dad. I